today I have a double infusion, um, which means I'm getting two different infusions. I don't think I'm getting at the, them at the same time. I think it's back to back, um, but either way, I am getting two different types of infusions. One of them is saline and the other one's actually a medication. The medication is prescribed to EDS patients quite often for relief of joint pain and migraines. And then the other one is just a saline infusion that we use to help with um, keeping my blood pressure up and also hydration because I, I have consistent issues with keeping hydrated. So we are going to do that right now and I just kind of wanted to show you kind of what one of my infusions looks like. So it's 439 right now. I'm gonna get there about five o'clock and then I'll have my infusions and I'll kind of show you guys what that looks like because I, I know I did like a first infusion vlog but I've had a couple now and I just kind of wanted to show you guys what one of my infusions looks like and you know if you're thinking of getting an infusion like thinking of getting infusions for POTS or EDS or anything similar to that uh, then I will kind of give you um, kind of an example of what it looks like. So the place that, the infusion center that I go to, uh, number one, I'm immunocompromised, and number two, I'm a consistent patient. So I'm not just in there for like one course of medication that'll only take like a couple times. I'm in there every month. So the times that I'm there, I'm always in a separate room by myself. Um, it has its own conjoined bathroom. That way, if I need to get up and use the bathroom, I can do that without, um, you know, having other people there. Uh, and I can take my pole with me and everything, don't have to stop the infusion, that kind of stuff. And then it also allows me to be able to take my mask off because I am in a, I think it's a negative pressure room, something like that, I don't remember. It's a safer room, so I'm able to take my mask off. So. Yeah, I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like when I get there. Okay, so I just came in from my infusion. I was running a little bit late, so I wasn't able to film me coming in from the parking garage, but I did. So now I'm in my room and basically there's the bathroom and it's just, it's closed. Like there's nobody else here. Um, and I get a warm blanket because saline infusions are cold and they give me a drink. Today I picked cranberry juice which is what I usually pick. <laughs> and um, now I'm just waiting for the nurse to come in to set up my infusion. And we'll see if they're gonna do it at the same time or one after the other, we'll just kind of have to see. Okay, so they came in and set up my infusion. So I actually have um, both bags running at once. And they also gave me some medication because I was kind of having a headache. So they gave me some medication for that. And now I just have to sit here for about an hour, and it's running now, so you just kind of wait. Um, it's like 5.30, so we're just gonna hang out. Usually I just like watch YouTube or edit videos or something like that, but I have to keep this hand still, so they usually put it on a pillow, and they just have me kind of wait. It's really nice. I think this is one of my favorite places to get infusions, just because are so nice here. They, I thought that it was kind of bright in here and they turned the light off and turned on these little can lights on the side of the room. So that was really nice. So now I just kind of get to sit here. See you in a little bit. All right, so I just got done with my infusion. Um, basically, that's all it is. It's literally, you just sit there for a little bit with an IV in your arm, and then sometimes it beeps for no reason. I was wondering if that was gonna happen. Um, well, it, I mean, obviously there's a reason, but um, basically what'll happen is, oh my door is still open. Basically what can happen is, um, if it starts to sense that there's something like air bubbles are going to be going through or you shift your arm and so it thinks that something like pulled out or whatever. So if your arm moves, they, you know, it beeps. 
obviously, because it's like, hey, something's wrong. But uh, that didn't happen this time. The first time that I was here, it beeped like consistently like every five minutes. And I think that the battery was low. That's what we think happened. But we aren't 100% sure. So uh, basically, this time it did not do that. It just beeped when I was done. And basically got in there and then got in there at like five, got out at 6.30. So that's a little bit better than I thought was gonna happen. So I thought they would have to do them one after the other. Okay, sorry, I had to get out of the parking garage um, and I had to insert like my validation ticket and everything. So that takes a second. So basically we did two different medications today that were infusions and then a few IV medications, which aren't, you know, IV medication and infusion uh, are similar, but the IV medications that you get, it's just a single like amount. They don't do it over time. The medications that I had to get, I actually got um, a couple of medications that I, I was having kind of like beginning migraine symptoms when I went in and so they gave me Ketorolac and Zofran, uh, which is what I usually take for migraines. And then I also had my full thing of saline and my full thing of magnesium. I know I only get one liter, liter of saline, but I'm not sure how much I get of magnesium. Luckily enough, I was able to do them both at the same time because I was not 100% sure if I was gonna be able to do that. Uh, they hadn't really like fully explained to me if I would be allowed to do both of them at the same time or not. I'm feeling lucky and happy that I was because otherwise I would have been there for two full hours, not including prep time. Prep time is usually 30 minutes. Uh, they do, they hook you up. They hook you up, they put in the IV, they do a flush, um, they check all your vitals before and after the flush, and then they, uh, and then they actually start the IV medication and the infusion. So whatever it is that you are getting that day. And I think, you know, it takes them a good half hour to set it up because they have to ask you all those questions and then they have to do all that other stuff. So it's really nice being able to, to do this not too far away from where I live because if I had to drive really far, it would really suck. And I think that seeing, seeing how well I'm doing on the infusions, like seeing that it really does get better, like my vitals get better after the infusion. Um, like my blood pressure usually is like relatively like lower when I go in and then when I leave, it's like at an actual normal level. So that's always good to see. And yeah, so basically that's it. That's kind of entirely what an infusion looks like. Uh, if you guys have any other questions about infusions, I was going to do a Q and A about my infusions, but I never sat down and collected the questions. So if you guys want me to do a Q and A about my infusions, I would love to do that. Just put some questions down in the comments below, or if you have like a couple questions, you can email them to me, something like that. I would love to do a Q&A about them because I know that before I got them, I would have loved to have seen a Q&A about it. <laughs> Some of the stuff that I didn't know, I would have definitely loved to see, but I, I didn't. So if you want to let me know what you guys are wondering about infusions, I would love to, you know, give you guys those answers. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in whatever I make next. Bye.